Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm looking at one of my favourite operating systems for the Raspberry Pi, and it's called Twister OS. Now I originally looked at Twister OS a few months ago, but the guys at Pi Labs have been busy squirreling away, and they've worked their way up to a version 1.7. So I thought it was about time we had a look at this new version, and see what else it's got to offer. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Firestick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks, so subscribe and hit the notification button. So straight off the bat, if you have any problems or issues, you can discuss them on PyLab's Discord site. Now the great thing about Twister OS is that you can actually switch between a load of different themed operating systems. These include Raspbian 95, Raspbian XP, which are themed on Windows 95 and Windows XP. We've also got Nighthawk, Raspbian X, iRaspbian and iRaspbian Dark. And these are themed on Windows 10 and Mac OS. Now we'll look at this feature later on in the video. Now as far as looks and aesthetics go, Pi Labs has nailed it with Twister OS. So taking a quick look around, on the top right hand corner we have the power down button. And from here we've also got access to log out, restart, suspend and hibernate. And next to that we have our calendar, we have our volume controls, and we've got our network controls. We've also got access to our peripherals next to that, Bluetooth access and controls, and of course, CPU information. Now looking on the bottom we've got access to Catfish, the file search, so let's say I want to search for a text document, I just type in txt and it's going to bring up all the text documents. Next to that we've got access to mousepad which is like notepad so for quick note taking and of course we've got quick access to the terminal and next to that we've got mail which also includes contacts and schedules. Now at first glance this looks pretty good and it looks well polished. I could definitely see myself using this. Now next to that on the menu we've got add and remove programs and of course as usual we've got loads of categories and software. Now a quick note here, some of these might be x86 based so they may not work on the Raspberry Pi, but there's enough here to keep you busy. Now we've also got access to Chromium, the media edition, and of course this works brilliantly with YouTube, Netflix, etc. And for me 1080p works flawlessly. Now another thing here is we've got quick access to a load of installed apps. You've got Pi Commander, Steam, Reference Material, Partition Editor, DOSBox, and of course PyKiss and RetroPie for gaming needs. Basically everything you could possibly think of, and more. The guys really have done a great job in getting all this software together. It's going to save me and you a lot of trouble installing this separately. Now the other great thing on the desktop is access to Commander Pi, which essentially lets you overclock your Raspberry Pi. You can also access your CPU details, and bootloader details, network details, and of course as I mentioned overclocking details. So you basically just input your values here, so I'm going to go for the recommended values, and then you just click on apply and reboot. But I'm not going to do that now. Now my absolute favourite feature is the Theme Twister app. This allows you to change the look of your operating system. Now of course it is only a theme but it is very realistic. So like I mentioned earlier you've got access to Twister OS, Raspbian 95, Raspbian XP, Nighthawk and you've got Raspbian X and iRaspbian and last of all iRaspbian Dark. And to switch between the themes all you need to do is click on the theme and you'll get a quick preview. And if you're happy with it just press enter to continue. It'll then reboot into your chosen theme. So this is iRaspbian Dark. And as you can see it's based on Mac OS. Now everything's where it should be as if it was a Mac system. You've got your menu full of apps on the bottom. And if I open up settings you'll see you get all your Apple icons. And because this is the dark theme everything's black. Including the windows and the backgrounds. So all these icons and apps look and feel just like the Mac OS. Including the calendar here. And along the top we've got all our respective icons. Including calendar, shutdown, lockdown and access to all your workspaces. And along the other side we've got access to desktop settings. And I must say there's loads of colour here to brighten up anyone's day. Now we can also access all the applications along the top menu here. And I do actually prefer this, it's all categorised. So I'm able to get to anything I need quite quickly. Anyway guys, I do recommend you go and visit PyLab's website. There you'll find the links to the latest Twister OS. And once again I'd just like to congratulate the PyLab's team. They've succeeded in making one of my favourite OS's for the Pi 4. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.